and uh, while I'm holding the shift key down, look at this plane icon. Click. Now, sorry, I had to just check that I was recording the uh, screen there. Right, anyway, edge mode, two. Three for polys, one for vertices. You can see my cursor changing. Two, three, one, two. So whilst in edge mode, so two edges, Alt C. Um, we want three cuts and spacebar to drop. Two, edge mode. Alt Shift down and select the outer edge. So select one edge, Shift, the other edge. W to translate, bring that down. Okay, now two, click one edge, click the other edge with shift to, so shift is a additive um, control, control is subtractive. W to translate, bring that down, uh, maybe up a bit, two, so that edge, shift, so that edge, R to scale, and bring that in a bit. Okay, press tab, and we're getting quite a nice form there. Right, select adjacent edges, Alt C, and keep it at three cuts. Uh, no, two cuts. Um, so it's going to be in a seam and that seam there. Press tab, form still good. Now, there is a problem with the bevel tool and I'm going to demonstrate now. And this is, I've had my brains racking over this for some time, hence the delay in creating this video. If I press bevel, bevel the tool. Now, the bevel does not like um, very low geometry. So therefore, there's a problem. And many recordings have had that problem. But there's one simple solution to this. So Shift D, and we go to SDS subdivide. Okay, that. Okay, the form's still good when you press Tab. Okay, now we can double click that edge, double click that edge, and single click those two inner edges while holding the Shift key. So again, that's the additive. If I hold Control, click the edges, subtractive. But this time, bevel, and just do an inset of uh, round numbers 10 mil. Alt 3 will convert the selection you've just done into polygons mode. So 3 is polygons, 1 is edges, Alt 1, Alt 2, Alt 3. Okay. Now B to bevel, and we'll just move it in a small amount. And let's just have a bit of an inset. Okay. Spacebar, drop tool, tab. Right, press F8, Shift A. So that basically centers the object. The camera view. That's looking all right. So you can see there's a bit of a problem. It's really soft, these centers, or this central bit. So, tab. Go back to poly mode. Shift tab is now um, Catmull Clark. So in Catmull Clark mode, what we can do is go to Edge and we're going to use the Edge Crease tool. So the areas that I want to tighten up are these areas. So it's all based on edges, and what it's going to do is make those edges taut. So I'm going to select those edges and those. Edge Crease tool and basically uh, you might have C0, type 15, enter, click once. Now when we go back, you can see it's starting to tighten up a bit. And the beauty of um, doing it in this mode is that we're gonna sculpt some slight deformation on here, take the regularity out these lines. As you can see, it's all very straight. Anyway, for now, let's just uh, press on. So we're a little over six minutes. So double click 
the outer edge and that will select the whole loop. Um, just go over edge selection, so double click the edge selection is just that edge loop there. Same for that, same for that, same for that. So it sort of breaks off, so it can't continue. So double click the outer. Z is edge extend, and because we're in edge category, it's already highlighted extend. Single click and drag down. And now what you'll see is that your sharp corner has now turned into a nice rounded corner. Okay, Z again, click. This time we're gonna just extrude a bit. So from the center, Z, click, and just translate up a bit. Z, click, oops, Z, click, R, to translate, um, scale, and yeah, scale out a bit. So this is edge to edge modeling. Z, click, translate down. And if you want to keep translating down, you hold the shift key, click, shift key, click. And that's where we get to. So I'm going to undo that. Hopefully you didn't follow. Um, Z, click, Uh, shift click, but this time R. So just creating that upper seam. Z click and drag down. And this time I'm just going to scale all the way down to zero. Um, you may have negative scale on and you'll go past. Just uncheck it. Negative scale. Okay, now whilst we're in scale mode, these edges come in a bit and press P to close the polygon. Now that is a mess, but as we're never going to see that part, it doesn't really matter. Alt 3, press B to bevel and just come in a bit. Oh, can't see why nothing's happening there. Just come out of tab mode. Maybe the pod is inverted. Undo, undo. That's really odd. Um, so with that pod selected, shift up arrow will uh, Select adjacent polygons, delete. Let's tab out again, that's fine. So double click P, 3, B, and I have no idea what's going on there. As always, there's something to throw a problem. Let's just bring those edges in a bit. So press tab, and that's fine. Shift tab. That's Catmull Clark. P, 3, B. Ah, that's working now. I can just shimmy it down a little bit. Okay, you may not have had that problem, and I hope you haven't. So select those edges there and let's just translate them in a bit. And same for those. Um, as it's organic, it really is just a free for all. Um, and we want to create another top sort of bevel edge. So select two adjacent polys, alpha loop B, and let's shift that out and scale it down. Fine, now R, let's scale it out that way a bit. Uh, maybe, no, forget that. What we're gonna do is just like those. That loop there and bring it up. 
and then this one we'll do the same and bring that up hard to scale and scale it out All right let's just sort these areas out let's bring that down a bit I've still got the other selected and then R and the scale average Sorry, shift tab. So control one, that's where you toggle your wireframe. So the pinching's not very nice um, here. But what we can do is select those polys and just bring them in a smidge. And it'll soften off. And once we've got a bump map on there or a normal map, You won't see that sort of problem. So hopefully you're comfortable with three polygon mode, two edge mode. So control one, toggle wireframe, and then uh, that's pretty cool. Right, as this is part one, we're going to do because this is quite like poly. So we're just going to quickly UV unwrap it. So you'll probably have some sort of mesh like that. Now, I found a quick way of doing this is um, where you want your edges sort of hidden is where they're sort of inset. Is double click it, okay, um, and just run. So go to UV mode, unwrap tool, select it, and click. Now. See, it's unwrapped. That's the top section and that's the bottom section. Um, let's go to this tab here. Enable and UV textures. Select Modo UV Checker. So we can see we're getting quite a nice tiled approach. Um, let's orient pieces. Yeah, it doesn't always orient the best way. So you may have Double click that section E to rotate and just rotate the viewport, the UV viewport, sorry. Um, still not perfect. So I select, double click, selects that whole selection, and because we're in the UV mode, it only selects the polys that are in their own UV islands. UV relax, click. Yeah, a bit of stretching and so on going on. But what we can do is Control A, Shift A, and what we do is project from view. So we click. Now that's a nice regular grid, but we've got overlapping uh, geometry in there. It doesn't matter for now. So double click W to translate, move. And we do the same for the bottom one. So control A, shift A, project from view. There we go. Now let's just pack that. Perspective, we are. So control space bar puts you into these different modes. Now that was all four, wasn't it? That's stretching there. You see that's where that overlap in geometry is, but we can sort that. So perspective, and we'll just put it in that fully mode. Click UV relax. Um, and yeah, let's just put it down to zero and now drag it out. You can see the iterations changing. So something like 34 iterations has given us something quite decent. Go with that. All right. So we're sorted. Let's just do another pack. Yeah, so we'll just um, bring that space up. So um, the settings I've got is gaps of 5%. So I've got 20%, and then you'll have more gaps in between. But because the texture is already made and seamless, it doesn't matter about that. 
Okay, so let's double click the whole object, press M for material, and as you can see, I've already created a material called leather. So enter. Um, material ref, yeah, that's from the previous um, untitled scene. So let's turn that off. Um, diffuse color, and just slide it down to here. Try not to go all the way to um, zero, 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 pure black, because um, in reality, you don't really have pure black. Um, so yeah, just knock it down a bit. Specular color, let's bring that down as well. And I will give you a texture. So we need to add layer, image map, load image. And for me, um, so I'll go to my 3D drive, images, seamless fabric, leather 2K. Um, you may want to put this on your desktop for now, for this training series. And there we go. F8. Looks terrible. So over on diffuse color, select it, surface shading, normal. Um, I'll ask about color correcting. Yes, as a general rule. Um, and because this is a seamless tile, go to texture locator, um, put it to three or something. Uh, hopefully, this is where you're at. Now, if we bring up F6, um, just come all the way down to the bottom. Um, so you want to be in Assets, Environment, Studio and Pack. Uh, let's go for Studio Room 1, double click. And Scenes, turn the directional light off. So everything is now lit from this HDR map. And maybe we just want to bring the roughness down a bit. Um, reflection is a bit strong, so just bring this specular color down a bit. We'll just soften up a bit. Now, the problem here is the image that I'm supplying. Uh, the normal's a bit strong. So 25% opacity. And we've got something, you know, half decent. Okay, as we're just about the 20 minute mark, that's it for this section. Um, over the next, uh, there'll be a couple more series of uh, training. Um, we will refine lighting, we'll add the wood effect, um, and hopefully that will come in, in around 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, yeah, so that's it welcome for now. back to the uh, second part of this video. Um, so there's a few things that we need to do is just to refine things. Um, thankfully, I've got my second monitor back. Um, so if I just go onto my desktop. Uh, Stool two. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> so the next part is I'm just going to add this scene back in. And yeah, let's just do that first. Okay. So I'm going to go to Mac Caps, click the blue icon and click enable. So now we can see our geometry in a cleaner way. Okay. So plane, I'm going to rename this. So right mouse click, rename, and we're just going to call this cushion. Because um, once you've created X amount of planes, meshes and so on, it can get very confusing. So if you go along, um, try and get into the habit of renaming your content. Okay. So yeah, there's a big groove there. So three on the keyboard, select adjacent polygons, L. Now W to translate and bring this down a bit. So that's a bit better. Okay, let's just come out of sub D mode, so press tab. 
um, just for this because uh, we're going to go for a very fine uh, where are we there we are so very fine groove in this section um, so you don't want to be in sub D mode else you might get collapsing polygons so back to it so adjacent polygons L to select the loop B for bevel and let's just bring this insert so I'm choosing the red handle let's see we're getting some funky deformation so let's just K to bring up your tool properties it may be you need to use edge rail or something yeah so select edge rail on and you can see that's now sorted okay so let's just bring it in a touch more All right shift click select the blue arrow and let's bring it in and maybe just bring the red thing down a bit okay spacebar to release select off by clicking the canvas area shift tab and there we go that's better so two edges double click that edge and what we'll do is just translate it down so w to translate and just bring that down okay so that's a bit better um, and it may be that we want to bring this up so i'm just going to do a few little refinements hopefully you can remember the keyboard commands w to translate um, two for edges, almost like them. Um, press R and let's just bring that in a bit and maybe this top one as well. R. Okay, I think that's better already. So I'm going to save. Um, let's have a look at preview. So if you're on the latest Modo and you're in the Modo tab, just bring down this toolbar section, play, and there we have it. <clears throat> As you notice, this is uh, quite a bit shallower than this version. Um, it's best if you can get all the blueprints um, and just make your life a lot easier, especially a side profile. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with that. <clears throat> I'm not going to concentrate on the lighting for this um, so I'm going to supply a different HDR um, and I need to gather some wood textures um, but that is going to be basically the third part or two and a half part um, yeah let's just refine this we'll just go through some more sort of tools really how could we refine this so for example go to sculpt um, and I really use the move tool a lot so right mouse click you'll get your brush so now what you can do is you can affect these areas and just add a bit of variation just minor tweaks um, symmetry mode on so on the X yeah so if you want you can let's go for an insane huge brush grab that edge bring it in bring it down, bring that down. You can see now we're getting this non-symmetrical look, which is what you need for any sort of organic design really. Um, yeah. So I'm actually gonna run with that and just bring these up a bit. So it just softens that curve a little bit more. And you could just bring your brush size down, bring these down. Let's come out of uh, sub D mode. So shift tab. Um, so shift tabs Catmull Clark tab is sub D. Um, but because we've tightened these areas with the edge creasing, you need to be in Catmull, uh, which is shift tab. And yeah, there we go. So that is basically um, number two, um, actually. Before we do that, let's just check our UVs a minute. Because adding those, uh, that section there could be a bit of a problem. So UV maps, texture, and let's just select those edges there. So two on the keyboard, let's have a look. Yeah, let's come in. So Shift A will 
center to selected and same for here and to be honest you're probably going to get away with that so what we're going to do minimize that um, so this let's go to texture mode there's a little bit of stretching um, so I tell you what as we're in this two and a half mode let's like that area right so it's the top part okay um, let's go to UV textures and I like this Modo UV checker uh, enable that there we go <coughs> that's our problem so we need to sort that so it's like that uh, UV island so it's all the geometry on there perfect and UVs UV relax and let's just drag in the viewport keep dragging till nothing else happens and that's pretty good that's a good thing about Modo <coughs> modeling and UV work is just a godsend especially just being in the one package it is awesome I'm just going to set the top part UV relax in the same way okay job done click enable and now we've got the nice leather texture um, and let's just pack that turn orient off because I like the orientation already gaps 5% click done and that's a not a bad effort control s to save and let's have a look at our preview uh, I'm just gonna maximize this a bit let's just have a look at this area perfect perfect so if you're at this stage then great no stretching click on your leather texture go to the shading tab um, as we've called it leather drop that down and uh, let's go to leather 2k go to properties texture layers no nope, texture locator is set to texture we've got three repetitions uh, so it's a seamless texture and I'm going to go for I tend to work in even numbers a um, hell of a lot um, for some reason um, like the power of twos I always work in that way but uh, for this I'm not so I'm just going to go for five control enter so the U and V or horizontal and vertical wrap are the same and you can see that's already created a softer leather look um, and yeah I'm not happy with that so whilst we're here let's keep preview open just like those two because we're in symmetry just bring them down a touch it may be that you just need to spend a bit more tweaking so just like those there um, model mode uh, edge edge crease tool and let's just whack that up a bit to maybe 10 percent yeah that's a bit better so i think just for this part as a continuation of the other one um, is just about refining uh, just using the uv tools a little bit more to relax the uvs as you've seen um, and yeah i think that's uh pretty good level before we then move on to the wood texture mode um, and that will just give me time to gather some textures um, for that this evening okay cheers